Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be part two of my winter haul. Um, if you haven't checked out part one yet, I will definitely leave the link down in the description box as per usual for you guys to check out uh, part one, which is a clothing haul. Um, so I hope you guys like it and stay tuned. Alrighty, so uh, first up, um, the, so basically everything here, or I will tell you where they're from, but for the most part things are from Dany, Leather, Target, um, a jewelry store, and like a whole bunch of other like knickknacks. Um, so we'll start with the jewelry first of all, which are the things I'm wearing. Um, I got a pearl set for Christmas, so I was able to pick what I wanted. So I ended up picking this um, classic pearl necklace, which I've, I, I've pretty much worn everywhere. Um, and it also comes with a pair of earrings, which I will show you later. But the first ones I'd like to share the Dior inspired pearls uh, with the big pearl at the back and like the medium size at the front. And I just recently purchased these for myself and I absolutely love it. I, I haven't seen many people wear it, um, so I do quite, um, quite like it. So yeah, this is a store I was telling you about. This place is called, um, it's called Viva. And so one of the other things I did get for my Christmas, and they do come in these little pre-packaged uh, bags right here. But I did end up getting these um, these pearl necklaces here. Um, they match direct exactly the um, the pearl. And one pair I bought for myself. They are a mix between the classic pearl and also a mix and also uh, between the Dior as well. And these are just the. Um, these are just basically doubled, uh, doubled pearls as well, and I do quite enjoy these. These are more for a subtle look. I got a few watches. I, I'm a watch fanatic, and the first one I got is the one that I'm wearing here. This is the rose gold. Um, they're from, they're from a, their brand called Bella, um, but they're from a place called Shoppers Drug Mart, which um, uh, they were $19.99. So I've gotten the rose gold, and I've also purchased. Um, a bronze, I haven't worn it yet, uh, a bronze colored um, watch as well. This watch I got from, uh, got for Christmas, I'm not sure where it's from, um, my younger sister bought it for me, I don't have anything like it. Yeah, so moving on, uh, when I was traveling to, um, when I was traveling to Europe just over in October and November, I wasn't exactly sure what I would store my jewelry in and I looked everywhere and I couldn't find anything that was one, um, affordable and two, that would store my jewelry the way how I wanted it to be stored. And then I went into a place called Winners and I happened upon this baby right here. Um, it's just a, like a, a faux leather. And when you open it, and it's actually really hard. It's a hard, it's a hard cased um, container. This way, your jewelry doesn't get broken or anything like that. But when you open it up, it's actually a travel, it's actually a travel um, jewelry holder. And so, oh, it's just got the mirror there. And then on the inside, there's places to put your rings. Um, I put my earrings here, and then like my other bigger pieces. And then that's not all for the <laughs> for the case. There's actually another hidden compartment behind the, um, directly behind the mirror with a little mini pocket and that's where I put, oh, I've still got stuff in here, that's where I put like my more expensive jewelry so I've got my gold cross in here and then um, a gold bracelet in there. I just keep them there this way they're less likely to get lost or um, fall out of the actual case. So I think this is by far one of my favorite purchases that I've made. Um, it's definitely served me really well. Uh, one of my new favorite stores um, is Danie Leather and it's only my <laughs> one of my favorite stores when it's on sale because they do get quite uh, pricey. Um, but I went to Danie Leather, it's, it's a store and I know the PETA, uh, PETA fanatics are obviously not going to be fans and, and that's fine but I do quite enjoy leather, it's one of my favorite materials. So I went to Danie Leather and I did pick up a, a few things. The first thing I got is this uh, baby right here. It is in Saffiano leather, so everything from Daniel Leather is 100% leather, obviously, or else they wouldn't um, carry the name. So anyways, this is my Saffiano leather um, iPad case. And it's got the gold um, zipper detailing here, and at the back it has a, another zipper on the, on the back side here. And I, I'm not sure what this is for, I think it's like a, just a hand a hand holder or something like that 
and so it's it's got three pockets in here so yeah that's it for my iPad carrier um, I don't use this every day and the reason why is because it's expensive and two I don't want to keep tossing things like this into my bag my iPad currently sits in a Safiano um, just the actual case in itself and I think that's more than sufficient um, for my iPad as opposed to getting this scratched and next up I got this little mini pouch again it is Safiano leather I'm going through a phase right now and this is actually a passport carrier um, and obviously on the inside here I just keep my passport my Canadian passport in here and this is again just used for travel I, I, oh and then there's brown the brown detailing on the inside I don't use this as an everyday um, carrier because one no, no one carries their passport around ever unless you are traveling that's um, that's a given and then next up I have a another <laughs> Safiano leather so as you can tell like this is all a set you pay for it separately and so this one is actually just a mini coin purse again I okay so the newest thing I got this I use every day which it's not Safiano leather which I'm really disappointed about they just didn't have it okay so yeah this is my wallet my current wallet I just recently purchased it um, and I will show you what's inside so the first thing when you open it it's just a card a card holder so there's so many um, places to put your cards in which I absolutely love and then this one I'm covering is actually a mirror and then if you flip it over there's another compartment which I keep my uh, my travel sized um, my travel sized calendar this way in case I don't have if I don't have my actual agenda I will have this in here and then over here there's more card slots and then this is just where I put my reward slots and then this orange little thing here is covering my um, driver's license and we don't want y'all to see where I live at. And then it's back here the space for your boarding pass and your passport, which you can tell this is actually a travel wallet, but I use it for everyday use. And since I do have quite a lot of um, things from Danny Leather, I just decided to go ahead and get the, um, they call it the skincare uh, pack and it's just basically for all of your leather goods and your leather purses and stuff like that which I, I try to treat them as best as I can because they're not cheap and I'm not trying to buy one every single year so um, this is basically everything that I purchased to take care of my leather um, so I've got the defense spray so this is just for the um, winter rain and all that like all of the elements you spray this on to your um, Leather. This is, these are the wipes, it comes with a pack of 20 leather wipes, so if you spill something on your bag, quickly wipe it off with this and it's good to go. And then this is for, um, I, don't, I don't know why I got this, but it was a part of the pack and I couldn't not get it, so this is just like a little a applicator cloth, and I guess it's, it's just strictly if you're wiping down leather, this is what you would use and you use it with the so-called lotion. I didn't know leather had lotion, but apparently it's a big thing, so. Um, that's basically it, everything I've gotten from Danny Leather. Alrighty, so one of the other things I got, um, this is my only electronic purchase because I'm not a techie person, um, but one of the things that I purchased um, was a Canon um, 50 millimeter lens. So the lens that I currently have on to the camera right now on my T4i is a 18 to 35 or 18 to 155 millimeter lens. So it, it when it comes to like the aperture and stuff like that, it doesn't give um, very good shots and it can't blur out the background the way how I want it for certain videos. So I decided to <laughs> step my game up and get um, a 50 mm lens. The last bit of my haul is coming from uh, Target. It's mostly just SE nail polish. I've, um, I'm just currently in the process of just switching over all of my nail polish, my favorite colors, over to SE. Um, I find that I do quite enjoy the brand, and and it keeps like my nails look ten times better than like Re not Revlon, but like Sally Hansen and those ones. I'm not a fan of their um, format or formulation or however they make their nail polish. I just don't like it. <laughs> Um, so the first thing I got is this um, Smooth and Protect, it's a base coat and it's supposed to help your nails grow faster because God knows I need that. So I got the base coat. And then because I'm a very impatient person, I decided to get the, um, the drying drops so it's fast dry. So we will see how this works. 
if it works at all. For some people too will lie. And then they they were having a clearance. I guess these are like the nail polishes, the colors that no one or that it's going out of. Um, they will no longer be produced. So I just picked up three. They're like mm, maybe two fifty each. And so this one is this one is called Chin Chili, um, which it's quite popular here on YouTube. I've seen it quite a few times actually. Um, and this one is called Merino Cool. And you'll be able to tell like they're basically all the same color. So this is Chin Chili, Merino Cool, and then this one is Mochaccino and it's got a lot, a lot of sparkles in it. I think that's why I picked it up. And lastly from Target, I just ended up getting this lotion here. Um, the Stress Relief Moisturizing Lotion because God knows I got stress. Um, so yeah, this is just, it just matches my body wash and I use this directly. I'll use it at night um, because it's supposed to, their claim is that it has some sleep aid, which we And lastly, right before Christmas, or right in, um, no, November, I did end up picking up um, two candles, which I've, <laughs> I've burned the life out of them. Um, this one, I it's called a what? Whatever, it's a part of the White Barn series. I'll put the name down below because I don't want to mispronounce it. Nothing grinds my gears more than when people mispronounce things. And this one is oh so good. It smells like soap, but it's um, eucalyptus and mint. And I do love this one. It's like a granny smell apparently, but um, I enjoy it anyways. Um, and again, these are both from Bath and Body Works. The last of my haul is just basically a few things I ended up picking up from MAC. Um, yeah, well, two things I picked up from MAC at Duty Free. This way I didn't have to pay no tax. Um, which is a MAC um, Skin Refresher. And then this oh, box is kind of smashed. But this is just the deep, deep dark powder. And this is the newer, the newer packaging. They don't do the, the old school stuff anymore. So there's a mirror here and then there's the... Um, big powder and then lastly I got the Anastasia brow dip um, I watched quite a few videos on this and one of, of my really good friends we <laughs> went to elementary school uh, together she she had this on her channel and I definitely um, decided to get it because I trust her work and if you guys haven't seen her I will definitely put her um, channel down below and you guys should definitely check her out um, so yeah so this is the Anastasia brow dip and I got it in um, uh, chocolate alrighty guys that's it for my uh, collective haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions or anything like that please feel free to leave it in the comment box and I will definitely get back to you um, and also most if not all of the things should be down in the description box so don't forget to check that out we'll speak soon